video, what we want to do is show you how to find your RSS feeds. If you've been to adding a video or you've been up to adding photos, you'll often catch this request of what is the video feed URL. And these are, we've told you before, these are RSS feeds. Now that's a lot of fancy technology terms for something that is not very difficult to find if you know where to look. And so in this video, that's what we're going to do is we're going to show you. First, if you have videos at YouTube, then we want to introduce you to this URL, gdata.youtube.com slash demo. And when you do that, you can fill in at this website all of the information that you, you care about. In, in reality, the only one that's most important is putting your author name uh, for your videos, your account name at YouTube. But you could also say, look, I want type one and type six videos because these are mobile related and that'll make sure that you're getting the best videos for mobile devices. You could decide that you want to limit the number of results, say to 5 or 10 or 20, whatever you like there. But when you're done with that, as you fill this in, what will happen is you will get the resulting URL right down here. You'll notice gdatayoutube.com slash feed slash API videos format equals author equals. That's the URL that you come back in and post right here. Now let's say that you're not at YouTube, you're at Vimeo. Well, that's even easier. If you're a church uh, like this one that's at Vimeo with a couple of different videos for their groups, um, you'll notice that just by going to their account, at the very bottom here, you'll see North Point Church's videos. And on clicking that, I'm going to get a URL. It gives us the particular user number. You don't need to worry about any of this text. It gives us the user account ID video slash RSS, and that's the URL that you would put right there. Now, what if you weren't doing this? What if you were working with photos? And if you were working with photos and you wanted to add your own stream of photos, you'd also have to put in a feed URL. So how does that work? Well, just as easy. Here we are at Flickr. If you use Flickr and these were a set of photos just taken at a baptism. If you wanted to take this stream and put them through, you'll notice right here it says subscribe to this particular set. So it's just these photos. You can grab it by looking at that set and here's the feed icon. And you'll see that URL right there. It's basically a standard API for Flickr, but it has this particular set's ID and the user ID in the URL and that's what you would put right there. Now what if you're not there? What if you're over at Picasso? Well, if you're taking photos of Picasso, like this particular engagement album I just did, you'd come right over here and you'd see on the right side, RSS. You'll notice that everywhere that there's an RSS term there, the, the three letters, you'll also notice this icon. You notice it there. You'll also notice it when we are back over here. It's typically an orange. You'll notice it back over here. It's an orange and larger. That's what the icon looks like, and that's what the icon stands for, RSS. And so if you're at Picasa and you were to click on that feed, again, you don't need to worry about the content, you just need to worry about that link. But that link will give them that particular album for that particular user, and you'd come in here and you'd drop it in and hit publish. And when you do that, you'll be saving your feeds to the system so that we can go pull all that content down and put it into your mobile app.